Hey, I'm Brian Van, SportBikeTrackYear.com, and I'm here today to show you what I believe are the eight best full-face helmets that sell for under $198. This is the first of several full face helmet comparison videos that we're doing for the spring of 2020. If you haven't already guessed it based on our name, Sport Bike Track Year, our focus here is sport riding. Sport riding on the street, sport riding on the track, or racing. For any of those applications, you're using a full face helmet. For that reason, we're not going to have comparison videos on modular helmets or three-quarter helmets or open face helmets, that's not going to happen. I'd also like to mention right out of the gate, if you don't see it on the table, it's because I don't think it belongs here. We spent a lot of time, I spent a lot of time handpicking what I feel are the best offerings in each one of the price categories to help narrow down your list of options so you get the most for your money, the best performing helmet, the most for every single dollar you spend within each one of these price breaks. This tier from 198 and under is what we have dubbed internally here as the performer tier. When I come back, we're gonna begin with the first of three subdivisions from this group of eight. Because when I look at these eight helmets, I see three different types of helmets. I see the $100 helmet, I've got three here that sell for right around $100. I see two helmets that offer drop-down inner screens. In my opinion, a helmet with a drop-down inner screen differs dramatically from a standard full-face helmet that doesn't have it. And then we're gonna have the helmets that sell closest you know, to the $150, $200 price point because that additional cost really separates them from a $100 helmet and it's hard to compare them head to head. Okay, before I dive in, I wanna stress the single most important thing when it comes to helmet protection, helmet performance is fit. The helmet has to fit properly. We have two videos out there showing you already how to get a proper fitting helmet. I encourage every rider, even if you've been buying helmets for a long time, to take a moment and get a good accurate measurement so you can use that in conjunction with the manufacturer's size chart to help you choose the right helmet the first time. If you get a helmet that's too big, and we see this all the time, especially from newer riders, they buy helmets that are too big because maybe they're a little easier to put on and take off or they feel a little more open and comfortable, right? What you've done is you've reduced that helmet's ability to protect you in the event of a crash, which is the number one reason you're wearing it, right? And you've also, diminished its performance. If it's too big and say you turn your head to look over your shoulder or to look to the right or the left and you're moving, right, the helmet's going to move on your head and it's going to obstruct your vision. It'll sit too low on the brow and when you're in more of a tuck position, it's going to obstruct your vision. Both those reduce safety. It will also increase road noise and make the helmet a lot louder than it should be. Fit is everything it's more important than the quality of the helmet or how much you have spent on the helmet with all that said there were eight and now there are three when i looked at these helmets i saw subdivisions like i said earlier and i wanted to start off with what i think are the three best sub 200 dollars full face helmets on the market in this segment i'm going to articulate what separates these from one another to help you choose the one that's right for yourself before we do that, let's talk about the things they share in common. Each one of these helmets offers good glasses compatibility, right? If you're wearing prescription eyewear or you like to use sunglasses under your helmet, all three of these helmets will allow you to do that. All three of these helmets use a double D-ring retention system. All three of these helmets have an intermediate oval head shape and run true to size as compared to their size chart, respectively, for each one of the helmets here, okay? With that said, let's focus independently on each one. The AGV K1 helmet. This retails from 179 up to 249 for the Rossi graphics. I realize that takes us 50 bucks out of the pricing tier that we've established. 
This is a really good helmet and the solid color sells for the 179 and that is definitely well inside of the pricing tier we've established and for that reason I decided to include it because I really like this helmet. It weighs 3.65 pounds in a size medium large which is the size that I wear at 58 centimeters using their size chart. It is ECE as well as DOT certified. Of the three helmets that I have here, it offers the most aggressive ventilation system. It takes cues, styling cues, as well as ventilation cues from the much more expensive AGV Corsa R and Pista GPRR helmets, and they introduce it into this much more affordable package here in the K1. So you get a lot of benefit from the higher end stuff while spending much less money. You can see it's a sexy, good looking package, cool lines on it with that diffuser on the back. This helmet ships with a pin lock ready, anti-scratch, clear shield. It doesn't have a shield lock, but it has very strong detents, especially right at the bottom. You can see how it just kind of slams itself shut, right? For fog free performance, you have to add that pin lock insert. That's an additional $35 if you require fog free performance. If you like to ride with your shield cracked to help manage fogging issues or introduce more air into the helmet, they've included this little switch here that allows you to pop the shield up. It holds it in that crack position real nice. That's kind of a cool feature. This helmet will accept universal Bluetooth devices, all three will. One of them accepts direct fit, which we'll touch on in a second. The overall quality of this helmet, the quality of the interior, the way it fits and feels against your skin, I would say is very high. You're really getting a lot for your money here. This ship's complete with a chin curtain. Next up is our Scorpion EXO R420. This one sells from 149 to 159 definitely more affordable than the K1. It weighs 3.5 pounds in a size medium. This helmet is Snell and DOT certified. It ships complete with an Everclear fog-free treated clear shield that has a nice centrally located shield lock. That's something I really like to see. If they're going to put a shield lock on a helmet, the best place to do it is in the center because it gives you a good even pull. Like I showed you with the K1, this helmet is pretty sexy. It's got some sexy lines to it. The ventilation reminds me a lot of the ventilation package that I've seen on the EXO R1 Air. I've ridden in this helmet and I would say that the ventilation performance is very good. It's not quite as good as we see over here with the K1 because that simply has more vents yet it is a very solid ventilation system. Ships complete with a chin curtain, emergency release cheek pads. This helmet is prepped to install the, any of the universal Bluetooth communicators too, which is a nice option. So really affordable package here. The quality of the Scorpion is every bit as good as what we see with that K1. Price point helmets is somewhere Scorpion is just super dominant. You get so much value for your money. They have mastered the art of producing affordable helmets. Last but not least is the all new HJC i10 helmet. This is the most affordable of the three that we're showing you here. It is Snell and DOT certified. It sells from 134 to 152 graphic to solid color. What really separates this from the other two is HJC has a new partnership with Cena. They have developed smart HJC Cena communicators that integrate directly with this helmet. Prices there start at 139 for you know the more basic unit, go up to 299. I think with this helmet, the 139 unit is just a great fit. We have a video installing it. It looks super trick. It works great, and I think that is something that really separates this helmet from the other two. If you're a street rider and you know you're going to use a Bluetooth communicator device, this is a great option. You can be well under 300 bucks and have yourself a kick-ass full package. This helmet has a strong ventilation system. We've got two vents up here on the crown, one here in the brow. The weight of the helmet is 3.55 pounds in a size medium on our shipping scale, so that's right where it should be for a Snell certified helmet. Clear pin lock ready shield. If you want to add the insert for fog free performance, that's going to cost you an additional $31.49. 
Like we showed you on the Scorpion, this one offers that centrally located lock, which is what I feel the best spot to have a helmet shield lock. Comfortable fabrics, great fit. If you want a chin curtain, that is an a la carte piece. It does not ship with the helmet. A lot of value with this. Each one of these helmets, in my mind, is one of the best examples of a kick-ass sub $200 full face helmet. The next subdivision is gonna be helmets that offer a drop down inner shield. The only ones we have in this price point are both from HJC. On my right, we have the all new I-70. On my left, we have the all new C-70. There's things that separate these helmets from one another and there's things they both share in common. What they share in common is, they are both DOT certified only. Each one of these helmets obviously has a drop down inner screen. It ships with an anti-scratch, clear, pin lock ready shield that has a centrally located lock. And like I said before, I really dig that. Each one of the helmets has that. Both have double D-ring retention systems. From there, they really start to separate themselves. I'm gonna focus primarily on the I-70 because I think this is where the real value is. Yes, it costs a couple bucks more than the C-70. I think they're both good helmets, but I think you're getting more here. You have a cable-driven drop-down inner screen. It just has a smoother action than the one you see on the other helmet. This is more of a, more of a basic design over here that is like a spring-driven type of deal. Ventilation. We have two intake vents up here on the crown as compared to one on the C-70. One can be effective, but it's not going to be as effective as two. With that said, you also have a little more aggressive of a chin vent here, so you're gonna be able to bring a little more air into this helmet if that is in fact important to you. Also important to note, this one is set up to accept universal Bluetooth communicator devices. It has cutouts behind the cheek pads to accept the speakers, and the C70 does not do that, right? So if the communicators are important to you at all, the C70 is just out. If you don't care about the communicator and you like the price point, you've seen a graphic in the C70, I would also say it's a really good helmet. Prices for these two helmets, you're looking at 179 to 197 for the i70. Definitely the better of the two in my opinion. For the CS or for the C70, you are looking at 134 to 152, so the price savings between them is not massive. Last but not least, we have here what I feel are the three best $100 helmets full face that we offer here at STG and that I think are available currently in the marketplace. As with the other two subdivisions, there's things they share in common with one another, those being double D-ring retention system. They all fit true to size. They have a very similar ventilation system from helmet to helmet too. They have two intake vents up here in the crown, intake vent in the chin, and exhaust vents will be managed through the rear of the helmet with some sort of diffuser or molded in exhaust vent into the shell. Each one of these helmets will also accept a Bluetooth communicator device of universal design, okay? From there, they do separate themselves a bit and that's what we're gonna focus on right now. The Scorpion EXO R320 retails from $99 to $109, okay? It ships complete with a clear pin lock ready shield that has a lock built in, as well as a shield crack mechanism. If you wanna get that fog free performance, one of the best ways to get there, the most effective way to get there is gonna be with pin lock. That stuff is proven to work. The insert for the shield, which is sold separate, is an additional $35 if you want to add that on. This helmet ships complete with a chin curtain included. Scorpion, in my opinion, when I look at these other two helmets, and these are all good helmets. As I said, every helmet in this review I like, I would ride. And if I'm shopping in this price point, I would use these helmets. Scorpion is just that little cut above when it comes to build quality, right? The quality, the stitching on the interior, right? The feel of the vents as compared to the other two helmets. These are just, just a little tighter, a little more solid. So if that's important to you, you probably want to look more to the Scorpion helmets, okay? DOT only certified. Important to note that two shell sizes. Next up is our Bell 
qualifier. Bell has a couple of variants on the qualifier. This is their entry level helmet. They sell for $114. It is ECE as well as DOT certified. So of the three helmets on this table, this is the only one that has a standard, is certified to a standard more than just DOT. If that's important to you, that makes this your clear and obvious choice. It ships with an anti-fog treated clear shield. There is no lock or anything built in. I will say the detent at the bottom is, is it's robust, okay? It's not like having a shield lock, but it, it's gonna do a good job. It's gonna hold it down. It's not going to blow open when you ride on it. Chin curtain is an a la carte piece. Double D-ring retention system. Very comfortable fabrics, very comfortable overall fit with this. Bell really did a nice job with their $100 helmet. Last but not least is going to be the HJC CS R2 helmet. This one sells from $85 to $94. It weighs 3.2 pounds on our shipping scale. If you haven't already noticed, this has the smallest outer profile of all the helmets, all eight helmets in this comparison feature, right? So if that's something important to you, look to this helmet. Ships with an anti-scratch clear shield that has a lock built in. Chin curtain is sold separate, double D-ring retention. The fabrics that they use with this are nice and comfortable. This is another good example of a solid entry-level helmet. Yep, I've got this Amazon special WOW motorcycle helmet on the table again. This is an example of what not to do. This thing is a 100% personally certified by me piece of shit. Yes, it was about 60 bucks, so it's less than everything else you see here, but the product itself is horrible. What we're trying to do is, is we're trying to share everything we've learned over the last couple of decades with you to help you make the best possible choice and get the most value for every dollar you spend on your next helmet, right? And you're not gonna always do that solely on price. If you have any questions, leave those in the comment section of this video. I answer all that stuff myself, and I'm here to make sure you have the best possible experience with your next new helmet.